finally I got to talk to you, bro. Yes, sir. I'm honored. <laughs> I'm also I'm also honored, you know. I'm yeah. also honored to be here with a brother that is passionate, a brother that is focused on seeing that lives are being transformed, you know. People are coming Amen. to the knowledge of the truth. I'm excited Amen. about you and I'm proud of you. I'm Amen. proud of you, brother Fabric. Thank you so much. I'm here, I'm here now. Amen. Thank you so much. It's <laughs> a very here. great pleasure and honor yes, to be able to have you here. Uh, I don't know if you can open my heart and see how much I'm excited. I'm very excited. This is a great privilege and I don't take it lightly. And I mean it with all my heart. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very also, I'm, I'm also excited, Brother Fabric. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All our viewers around the world watching us are bringing you this good and great, fantastic, fabulous news for <laughs> all of you who live in Canada and USA. This is a very, very great opportunity and very great news. You won't afford to miss this. Listen, this Power City International Ministries is bringing you the annual conference, which will take place in Maryland. Look, don't afford to miss the Papa will be there. He will be ministering. Also, there is the School of Ministry, and the link is in the description. The link will be also available so that you click and you register. Right now, click that link, go and register. School of Ministry, which Papa will be teaching us the Word of God. Listen, it's so life-changing, life-changing. There is one thing listening to a man on Veto, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, or whatever platform, then there is a difference when you physically go there and That's you true. get blessed, I'm telling you. Impartation will be the hands laying. Look, I'm so excited about this. Make the date, make the day, book the time to fly to Maryland. Anywhere you are, if you are in US, Canada, make that time. Get your passport, get your visas, get your traveling document, get your family all together. Share to everyone. Make sure you are there. This is a life sharing opportunity. And so with me here, I am with the, an honorable guest, my pastor. <laughs> Pastor Brian with me. I'm so excited to have you say here. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, thank you so much for everything, your patience and everything, your teaching, everything, you know. We are grateful for that right away. So, okay, Pastor Brian, thank you so much for coming tonight. I have my first question, you know, that uh, I'm going to ask you. What is the best gift you can give to a friend? Over to you, sir. Wow, that's powerful, you know, and I, I want to celebrate you, Brother Fabrics. I know our father in the Lord, Dr. Abel Damina, he's so proud of you, you know, just uh, just, just know you. that. You know, he's proud of you, everything you. you're doing, to see that people are coming to light in your own way that you can best handle for this vision to go out there and, you know, be a blessing to millions, generations, you know. Is proud of you and i'm also proud of you i i love you brother i celebrate you and thanks for the privilege you know to be here to talk about a big conference taking place in maryland lauren maryland from the 7th of october to the 10th of october it's not something you it's one of that conference that you don't want to miss you know so we are using this opportunity to invite each and every one of you if you're in europe america asia canada nigeria there is still much time for you to be part of it just you know there is still much time yeah going to your question you know the bible says we are born of god we are mm. born of god and we are the representative of god on earth mm. we are his children when we come into that union, we have become his children. You know, James 1, 18, the Bible speaking that of his own will begat us by the words of truth. I want you to pay attention to that meaning word by the word of truth. You know, First Peter chapter number 1, verse 23 said, being born again, not of corruptible seeds, but of incorruptible seed of the words of God. That's another key point to note of the word of God, which liveth and abideth with us forever. Mm -hmm. Now we go back to, you know, our father's way of relating, of bringing us into this union. We go back in John chapter number one, verse one, the Bible speaking in the beginning was the words, right? Mm -hmm. In the mm -hmm. beginning was the words and the words was with God. And the word was God. Let's pay attention again to that word, you know. And the Bible in mm. now, in John, when you read John chapter number three, we are getting to the question. When you read John yeah. chapter number three, verse 16, the Bible speaking, I would love us to read it together. So 
you know we are we are still talking about the words and the important your question is about what is the best gift to give to a friend what is the best gift and we model pay attention we model after our father we model after our prototype we model after the first fruit we model after jesus you know so let's look into john chapter number three verse 16 john chapter number three verse 16 so that we can establish that one of the biggest gifts the father gave to his people so if that is a gift that the father gave to his people and we are his we we as his children you know we are bound to do the same so let's see the gift that the father gave to you know his people while you know here on earth john chapter number three verse 16 the bible speaking that for god so loved what the world that he gave he gave his only what begotten son remember we talk about jesus in the beginning was the word which means mm -hmm. what the father gave to his people is the word is the word is the word he gave the words to his people he gave the words to his people and jesus is that word so the greatest gift you can give to a friend is the word is to bring that friend to a place of you know coming to receive or realize or accept jesus that is the greatest gift you can give to humanity you know everything we are hustling moving around fighting and struggling to achieve in this life it will all end here you know like mm -hmm. i always say life is not life until you meet life so the greatest gift you can give to a friend is life and that life is found where in the word so the greatest gift you can give to any friend out there is the word of god is the word of god because the bible is speaking that forever oh god thy word is what settled that heaven and earth will pass away but my word so the best thing to give to a friend is the word of god is the word of god praise mm. god amen yes. thank you so much thank you so much i'm trying to catch up with my notes thank you so much <laughs> yeah. the we greatest are, are just, gift to give talking, a friend. You know, don't forget we are just talking about you know the 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 uh, conference in uh, uh in america mm. you know maryland mm. maryland mm. Lauren, maryland mm. from the 7th of october to the 10th of october everybody is invited it's gonna be mm. one conference that you wouldn't want to be told about the impactation and the things that will happen in that conference you will have the mm. opportunity to meet our father and the lord dr abel damina you meet mama too you know it's gonna be it's going Whoa. to be awesome, Brother yeah. Fabrics. And I know you're coming already. I know you're on your way. And I can't Amen. wait to see you, Brother. Praise God. Can't oh, Mama will be there. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I can't wait oh, to see my. you, Brother Fabrics. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, yes, my sir. God. Thank you so much for that. Oh, yes, sir. you'll be powerful. Uh, then, thank you so much, Pastor, for explaining the best gift to a friend is yes. the Word of God. And that word is Christ. Christ is and, the Word. Uh, then the second question is, what is the strength of the believer in Christ? Over Praise to God. You. Wow, those questions are powerful, you know. Mm. <laughs> you know, yes, the, strength, the strength of the believer is still the Word. Mm. The strength of the believer is not just getting things, you know, walking out your muscles and all of that you know everything about us is centered where in the word so the strength mm. of a believer is the word you know the strength that raised jesus from the dead is the word it's not rasmata it's mm. not a uh, you know just something out there it is the word it is the word so the strength of a born again is the word you know let's go back to the bible i love to you know our father has taught us that whenever we're mm. talking about you know the things of the supernatural we focus on the words you know just like uh our father in the lord dr ebel will always say he said until christ is revealed to us our identity cannot be in view so yes, it is sir. very important to note that you know now when we go back to when we go back to james chapter number one verse 18 the bible speaking that of his own will begat us by what by the words of by truth. the word by the words of truth that is very mm. key which therefore yeah. means everything that has to build everything that a born again man needs everything that a born again man needs is wrapped up where in the word in the, in word. the word we go back again to the scripture first peter we go back to the scripture first peter chapter number chapter number one verse 
20 today, the Bible speaking that word. He said, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed of the word of God, which liveth and abideth with us for how long? Forever. So if it is the words that give birth to you, you would depend on the words to be strengthened. You would depend on the word to be nourished. You would depend on the words to match up towards the mark of the high calling. I don't know if I'm making sense. So the yes, strength yes. of the born again man is the word. You know, the strength of a believer is the word. The very first thing that a believer needs to appreciate and focus on is to is to desire the word. Desire the, the, the word. Hallelujah. So let's look Amen. at Isaiah chapter number 9 verse 8. Let's look at something from Isaiah chapter number 9 verse 8. Mm. Chapter number 9. Isaiah chapter number 9 verse 8. You see how men desire the words the importance of the words in men's life in the lives of the people of all let's see that Isaiah chapter number nine if you're there you can read for me brother Isaiah chapter, yeah, Isaiah number, chapter nine, number nine verse eight, eight. Yes. <laughs> the Lord has sent a message against Jacob and it has fallen upon Israel Isaiah Amen. 9 8. Isaiah 9 8 another version says the Lord sent his words into Jacob mm. and it has lightened the nation of Israel. The Lord yeah. sent his word. Remember the first thing the father gave to his people is word. His word. The, the father mm. gave his words to his people. The father gave his words to his people. Praise God. Well, also Matthew chapter number 8 oh, verse yeah. 8. Let's see that trend there. Matthew chapter number 8 verse 8. The centurion. Let's see that. What the man said. I want you to read so that we, we cooperatively do this. Yes. Matthew 8 mm -hmm. verse 8. Yes. Matthew chapter 8. Yes, sir. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I'm not worthy that thou should come under my roof, mm -hmm. but speak the word only. And speak my the word. Speak the word only. Speak mm. the word. Which means the centurion officer understood the potency of the words in the lives of a man. Not knowing mm. that what he's saying, Jesus, express your authority. Express. He says, speak the word. So yes, the sir. strength of a born again man is wrapped up in the word. That's why when you look, you know, you see our father laboring every day to, to bring out, mm -hmm. you know, these words to us, the clarity of the word to us. He said, speak your word. All I need is just the word. You know, child of God, what we are sharing here is not just, I'm not preaching. We are just trying to mm -hmm. make you understand where we are coming from and the reason why you need to be in Maryland. The reason why we need to come and fellowship, you know, so that you can also learn. We can also fellowship with the man that we are learning from. So it's going to be an exciting and awesome event that you wouldn't want to be told about, you know. You wouldn't want somebody to come and tell you, I went there, this happened, this happened. Mm -hmm. There is still much yeah. time for you. Look, mm -hmm. you Use this as an opportunity to get out of your comfort zone and tell the pandemic that you know what i've been sitting at home for too long now it is time for me to move out there it is time for me to move out and meet with friends and celebrate with friends and celebrate the word it is about the word you know brother fabry one thing i love about the scripture the bible says when john sent his disciples you know to go and question jesus mm. if jesus is the real yeah. person that he has been waiting for you know when this guy went to jesus they saw jesus they end up staying with jesus so when you meet jesus mm. you don't want to leave jesus so when you come to a yeah. place where jesus is revealed to you via his word you will not want to stop listening so all you need is to make yourself available you know make yourself available in an environment where jesus is explained because jesus oh. is the subject of the bible jesus is the reason for the scripture so all you need to hear is jesus praise god now oh. when you look at that man that man understood the words of jesus he said just speak a word all i need is a word all you need, brother, over that situation, over that condition, over that problem that you're going through, all you need is the word, is the word. Mm -hmm. And the word is available. The word is ready for you in Maryland, Lauren, from the 7th of October to the 10th of October. You wouldn't want to miss, follow the detail, you know, below and register. You know, let's meet there and have fun, pray together, celebrate together, share fellowship together. Hallelujah. So the next Hallelujah. scripture I want us to look into again is Ezekiel chapter number two, verse two. Ezekiel chapter number two. We are trying to establish the importance of the word. Hallelujah. It, Ezekiel Hallelujah. chapter number two, verse two. Yeah, Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter number two, verse two. Yes. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. 
yes. and set me upon my feet that I had him that spake unto me. Yes, read, read, read on. Okay, verse, verse 3. And he said unto, unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, yes. to, a bury, to a rebellious nation yes. that hath rebelled against me. Yes. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. For they are imprudent, impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus says the Lord. Yes. Verse 5. Yes. And they, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. 6. Yes. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee and thou dost well dost dwell among scorpions be not afraid of their words yes. nor be dismayed at their looks though though be this remember the lord is saying be, be not a rebellious afraid. house verse 7 be not afraid of their words why because mm. he has been given a more precious word yes the sir. word that he has received is greater and bigger than the words of the people that is going for the yeah. word the words and this word we are talking about is not just ordinary words we are talking about a person here so knowing jesus is coming to a place of enjoying your strength enjoying yeah. the strength that you have so the strength of the born again man is the scripture is the mm. word is the mm. word so all mm. you need is the word let's look at that ezekiel again chapter number three verse 24 ezekiel 23 sorry chapter number three verse 24 ezekiel three yes 24. Ezekiel chapter three 23 no, chapter 3, verse 24. Praise God. All right, verse 24, it reads, yes. Then the Spirit entered into me, yes. and set me upon my feet, yes. and spake with me, and said unto me, Go, shut thyself within thine house. Yes, go shut th The Spirit entered into me. Read on, sir. Verse 25, But thou, O son of man, Behold, they shall put bands upon thee, and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go among them. Amen. And, and right. I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that shall be that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. Twenty-seven. Amen. Now, Amen. Yeah, no, let's read Ezekiel chapter three, verse one to three. So this one to three it reads yes. moreover i said unto me son of man eat that thou findest eat this this scroll eat this and scroll go. the word mm. take the word mm. that's what i'm looking for he said eat mm. eat it eat it so all we focus on is the word eat that scroll take it and eat that's all what you need all you need to live a victorious life is to understand what christ has done for you and it is wrapped up in his word you need a sound teacher to unveil this truth to you and the Amen. person we are talking about here the conference we are talking about here those words are available in his mouth because it is not just somebody that give a casual approach when it has to do with the things of the supernatural so we are not just here to make noise or we want to come live and all of that we are here to encourage you that the reason why we are we are at rest it is because of what we have learned and we are still learning and we want to use this opportunity to invite you to the conference to make oh. you understand that this is one conference you wouldn't want to stay home you know what i'm saying it is something mm. that you want to give your all you tell yourself four days is not going to kill me i'm going to take that permission from work i want to spend mm. time in that atmosphere that that, that mm. brother brian loves to spend time i want to spend mm. time in that atmosphere that that brother fabrics love to spend time i want to spend time in that environment that nourishes in that environment that empowers so we are inviting you to maryland oh guys you don't want to miss out praise god now when you look at that what mm. ezekiel mm. got from the uh, uh, from from the lord is what the words the importance of the word remember he's not he's not he's, he he was just an ordinary man like you and i he was a man yeah. that was afraid of the people he was a man mm. that never had that courage but when the words entered him he became courageous oh stop talking stop complaining that i'm not courageous stop complaining that i don't have the power i don't have the strength brother and mm. sister what you need is that word and that word is available for you 
that word is waiting for you that word is ready for you now let's proceed again when we read jeremiah chapter number 15 verse 16 jeremiah chapter number 15 verse 16 let's look at that together again remember we're we trying to establish the strength of the believer is mm. the word yes. amen jeremiah 15 verse 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 16. jeremiah 15 verse 16 reads thy words were found yes. and i did eat them How and thy word mm, and thy right. word was unto me the joy and the rejoicing of mine heart for Your i am called by thy word. Found. i want to take mm. it easy sir take it easy he did not say any other thing he said thy words thy words your words all you need mm. is his word all you need brother and sister over that condition over that situation all you need is just the word it's just the word mm. in mm. that word the miracles are there already the victory is there already yes and this word we are talking about here which is our strength is a person john 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and the word became flesh we are talking about jesus christ jesus christ jesus christ mm. is the strength of the believer he has become our strength he has become mm. our righteousness he has become our holiness he has become our justification he has become our sanctification he has mm. become our redeemer all wrapped up in the word so if you're tired and you're scared of making heaven or not making heaven jesus is saying come to maryland the word is available Come to Maryland. I am ready for you. The word is there. It is going to be mm. about the word. It's not going to be about Dr. Ebel. It's not going to be about Power City. But now the word is coming through a, a vessel that God has chosen in a time and a season like this to dispense mm. his word. So you're not just coming to see a man. You're mm. coming to meet the word. You're mm. coming because God is a spirit. So for God to manifest on earth here, God needs a man. So he has chosen a man in, in the name of Dr. Abel Damina and in the ministry called Power City to dispense these words to a dying generation that he has saved. So child of God, you don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss that. Mm. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. It's going to be fire. I'm, I'm already feeling it right here now. I'm preparing. Amen. I'm not just going there. You know, one of the things, Brother Fabric, I was just praying and the Lord told me, he said, as you're mm. going to Maryland, Yes, sir. Go as if you've never met Dr. Abel Damina. Yes, sir. You've never spoken to him. Yes, sir. I said, why? He's my father. He talks to me all the time. He check on me. Mm. Yeah, he's, a, he's not just a spiritual father that sit back. If you're not there, you say, hey, are you okay? The Lord said, that's not what I'm talking about. He mm. said, because this conference in Maryland is going to be one of those conferences that people might think, okay, it's just a normal thing. I see him on TV, mm. I watch mm. him, and I listen to him, and mm. all of that. No, it is some, there is something that I, I'm releasing for my people through this yeah. word of God. There is yeah. something, mark these words, and you're going to see it happen. There is something that I'm going to release through this man of God, you know, in Maryland, in Maryland. It might just sound a little conference and all of that. There is something that I'm going to release through this man of God, you know, from mm. the beginning of the program. It's going to be, it's going to be so impactful. And I said, wow. So I mm. told myself, I'm going to go there as if I've never met him. I've Amen. never seen him. I don't know him. Amen. I'm not part of the, I'm just going hungry i'm just going as you know somebody that just want to gather everything that is coming out paying attention to every words that is coming mm -hmm. i don't want to be familiarized with the scriptures you know that's what the lord said don't be familiarized with the scriptures don't be familiarized with his words mm -hmm. you might start by saying okay you know second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and you think oh i've been hearing it mm -hmm. no that's not it that's not it it's gonna be one meeting you wouldn't want to stay back home praise god yes, let's read that jeremiah yes, again so that people can understand look at how somebody is expressing the joy that came from him receiving the word let's look at mm. jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16 jeremiah 15 16. Yes. Mm. thy words were found yes and i did eat them yes thy words remember he said thy words were found meaning he positioned mm. himself number one thing something we should learn from it there he positioned himself for those words he positioned himself so the maryland mm. conference is for you to position yourself you have yes, to sir. make up your mind to position yourself i don't know if mm. i make it he said your yes, words sir. were found meaning he was 
at a point or a position that he met with those words am i making sense he was at yes, a point sir. with a position look at look at look at the woman at the world the woman at the world in john chapter mm. four yeah she has been going to that world over time meaning that is a specific position not knowing that position is not just for her to go and draw water get water but now god was using mm. that to communicate to her that hey you're gonna have an encounter with the living water but remember she positioned herself position it position mm. child of god we are talking about positioning yourself where you will meet with the word where you will meet with your word you remember about uh, you remember the story about the woman you know the woman with the issue of blood you know the woman with the issue of blood the, for 12 good years she has been going through different kinds of position one day she heard about the word jesus is the word glory to god she heard about the word and despite her condition despite her situation the woman said you know what one thing i focus on is the solution and not the environment and not how things are happening we, we might be in a season and a time where the pandemic has taken over the world god forbid we are in charge mm. we are here Amen. Amen. And you're telling Amen. yourself, oh, the circumstances around me, they are not comfortable. They are not suitable. But what mm. I want to remind you that, that that same woman, that story, that story of that woman, the woman said, you know what? If I can only touch, mm. if I can mm. only touch, don't talk mm. about there is no money. Don't talk about there is no time. But mm. desire first. What, 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 what is your desire? Don't talk mm. about there is no time, you know, about my job and stuff like that. Tell yourself, mm. I want to be there. I yes, want to be there. Yes, sir. That's the mm. Mm. Jeremiah Thank you, said, your, your word, look at it. Let, let's look at it again, brother. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're, we're having a good time here. Yes, sir. Very, very good time. Let's, I want to read this from the Thy words were found. I want to read from the Amplified. Yes. I want to read from the All right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 15, verse 16. Amen. 15, 16. I don't know if I'm answering your question, sir. <laughs> yes sir absolutely absolutely jeremiah 15 16 says he said your words were found and i ate them so in in, in this in this statement we are not mm. just trying to talk about the conference but we want, yes, to, we want to tell you also let's let's learn something we should learn something from jeremiah's statement right jeremiah mm. number one thing he positioned himself yes sir and when he saw the words he it's the word meaning mm -hmm. he was expectant and willing so you should not come to the conference and say oh i came to that conference not no you have to be expectant right from your home before coming yes. to the conference you have mm. to be very much expectant that as i'm coming i'm expectant all you see just like the woman the woman with the issue of blood she carries mm. that expectancy in her face that as i'm going all i want is jesus i don't care the disciples i don't care the people around him she was so expectant so as you're coming you're not coming just to see papa's face you're coming for an mm. encounter with the word through him so you make up your mind from your home you make up your mind mm. from your heart as i'm going to maryland all i'm going for is to catch what is going to come out of that conference remember oh, yeah. let's look at it again let's look at it he said and i ate them and your words were to me a joy glory to god hallelujah Amen. he said your hallelujah. words were to me a joy and the rejoicing of my heart remember before now jeremiah has been hearing other words mm. but we're mm. talking about the words that we're talking about some meaning there is something in what he heard mm. there is something Amen. Amen. there is something brother there is Amen. something in that statement he said they were to me a joy and a rejoicing of what of my heart for mm. i am called by your name glory to god so the word Amen. of god unveils you unveils mm. your identity in christ mm. Mm. the clarity you receive from the word brings you to a place of your union with god your oneness mm. with god the word yes sir the yes word. sir because the yes. strength is in the word Mm. So when the word is unveiled to you, it unveils to you your identity in Christ. Mm. Amen. It says, it says Amen. called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Let's look at let's mm. look at another another scripture, Isaiah chapter 9, verse. You know, you know, we, we are not trying to go, we are coming from the old testament first, because a lot of people say, Oh, why is it that your father is a new testament? And you guys too now as his sons 
you know, as yeah. you know, you guys are talking about just that. You know, let's look at that. Isaiah chapter nine. We are coming from there. Isaiah chapter nine, verse twenty. Yeah. Isaiah chapter nine, verse twenty. I don't know if we're making sense. Yes, Isaiah sir. Yes, nine, sir. Verse Glory to God. I love the word. Yeah. He said, "They." He said, "He said they snatch, they snitch." Sorry, is this cut on the right mm -hmm. hand? But are still hungry. The cruelty. Yeah, let's look at Revelation. Revelation yeah. chapter number 10, verse 9. Let's look at Revelation chapter number 10, verse 9. It says, So I went up to the angel and asked him to give me the little book. Mm. To give me the little book. Mm. To give me the little book. I think it's, I can hear myself from the background. Now, he's talking about the word mm. there. To give me the little book. And he said to me, Take it and eat. It will embitter your stomach. Though in your mouth it will be as what? Sweet as honey. Mm. Sweet as honey. We see that we see that also in Ezekiel chapter number two, verse eight. We see that in Ezekiel chapter number two, verse eight, chapter three, verse one to three. We've read that already. We've read yes, that sir. already. Praise God. Amen. We've read that already. Ezekiel. Let's read Ezekiel chapter one, verse twelve. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 1 12. Yes. The importance of the word. So you, you, you can't afford to sit under a teacher that their focus is not Christ. The church mm. is not just where we go to, you know, you know, join with friends and celebrate and make noise and all of that. It's about mm. the word. The miracle is wrapped up in the word. The miracle yeah. is in the word. The miracle yeah. has been given mm. to us already 2,000 mm. years ago. So we need mm. to understand. That's why when you read all the Pauline's letter, you will see mm. Paul kept on saying to know in Ephesians chapter number 3, mm. well, in Ephesians chapter number 3 verse 19, he said, and to know the love of God, which passes mm. knowledge, to know it, to know it, to know it, knowledge, knowledge, mm. talking about knowledge. So the problem of a believer is not just, it's not just miracles, it's not just Welcome. things, it's the knowledge of the word, because that is where your authority, that is where mm. your authority is, that's where Welcome. your strength is, that's where mm. your ability is, amen. Welcome. Now let's Welcome. see that real quick, let's see that brother. Ezekiel 1, 12, and they went, everyone straight forward, whether the spirit was to go, they went, and they tend not when they went. Hallelujah. When Amen. you when you pick up the word, when the word comes into you, when the word Amen. comes into you, hallelujah. When Amen. the word comes into you, you become a different person. When Amen. the clarity of who you are in Christ comes into you, you become a different being. You become a different person. Praise God. Amen. You become a different person. Hallelujah. So we Amen. are here to encourage you that if there is something you will prioritize in your life, is the word of God. If there is mm. something you will focus in your life, is the word of God. Am I making sense? Now, Amen. I was looking for Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. Jeremiah mm -hmm. chapter 1 verse 12. Praise God. Jeremiah 1 verse 12 says, Then said the Lord to me, You have seen well, for I am alert and active, watching over my word. To what? Mm. To perform. Watching over my word watching over my word you know brother fabrics when he study that when he study acts of the apostle chapter number eight in the bible says there is a man called a learned man in their time a proconsul he beckoned on paul and Sarah, you know that they should come and teach him the word the mm. word teach him the word he did mm. not ask for any other thing that i want to know these words that you people are going about preaching so that should be the crave that should be our craving that should be our desire the words mm. and that's what mm. you're going to be hearing the words the words the words it's not going to be about somebody experience it's going to be mm. about jesus it's yes, going to be about jesus the gospel is about jesus christ the gospel is about jesus christ there is no other message there but mind you there is another jesus there is yes, another sir. Jesus. Mm. There is mm. another Jesus. If there is mm. another Jesus, there is another gospel. Let's read mm. Gal Galatians. We're going to come back to this. Galatians chapter number 1 verse 6. Let's read Galatians chapter number 1 and 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 11 also verse 4. Let's read Galatians chapter number 1 verse 6 real quick. Glory to God. Glory, glory. Yes, glory Galatians, to God. Galatians chapter 1 verse, verse 6. Yes. All right. Very Galatians good. 1 chapter 1 verse 6 reads... I marvel that you are so soon removed 
from him that called you into the grace of Christ and to another gospel. Hallelujah. Into mm. the grace of Christ, meaning the gospel of Jesus is the gospel of the grace of Christ. It's not a gospel of condemnation. It's not a yes, gospel sir. of things. It's not a gospel of motivation. It's a gospel that that mm. that embodied the spirituality of men, the spirituality of men, the grace of God, the yes, loving kindness of God, the, the the mercy of God, the gospel that unveils to you that you are not in need of God's mercy. You are living mm. in the mercy of God because it is the mm. mercy of God that gave birth to you. Let's read First Peter. First Peter chapter number one, verse three and four. Let's read that. It is the mercy of God that gave birth to you. So this gospel we are talking about that you're going to be hearing, you know, from the 7th of October in Maryland, Lauren, you know, from the 7th of October to the 10th of October is the gospel of the grace of God. Is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Remember, I said there is another gospel and we're going to see that here. We're going to mm -hmm. see that here. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. read that scripture, brother, if you're there. You're going to see that there. Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant, abundant mercy, he began mm. us. We are born of the mercy of God. A born mm. again man is not in need of God's mercy. You are born of God's mercy. He said, which mm. according to what? His abundant mercy he gave yes, birth to us. We are born mm. of the mercy of God. A born again man is not in need of God's mercy. Child mm. of God, oh, I'm, I'm, mm. I'm so excited. I'm fired mm. up with that and sees that if there is something I can give to you is this opportunity, you know, so that we can meet in Maryland. We can all meet mm. in Maryland. Let me read it from the Amplified. You'll love it that first peter first peter so that you, you can stop crying you know religion will always want you it will always want you to focus on your fault focus mm. on your problems but christianity you know christianity or the gospel of our lord jesus christ will take your focus away from you and focus on jesus hebrews chapter number 12 that looking mm. onto jesus the author and the finisher mm. of what of mm. our faith he authored mm. the faith in abraham and and, mm. and and the people of old and he finished it in us he established mm. it in us he's that author the finisher of faith so we look up to jesus jesus yes, is sir. our role model you remember mm. brother fabric something i love very much you know when yes, you read sir. the book of numbers i think numbers 21 when the people were beaten by the serpent in the wilderness mm. the lord did not ask them to pray or to confess or to murmur mm. you know all mm. they required all that they were supposed to do is what look up look up look, look up and when mm. jesus came jesus told us that that scripture was talking about him when you read john mm. chapter number three see jesus saying just as you know the serpent was lifted up in the wilderness so shall the son of man be lifted up and after that what happened he would draw all men and by mm. his obedience we are now mm. in him you know they were all required to look up mm. Lord god look up mm. look Amen. up look and leave mm. look up mm. praise mm. god amen in the acts Thank of noah in the acts of Noah, all that noah was saying come in come into the act come into the act and when you read that very well in the book of genesis mm. brother you see that the bible says it was god that shot the act when i got yeah. there i was like wow god meaning our mm. salvation is preserved mm. by god Glory, noah glory. invited the people but the person mm. that shot the act was god mm. because mm. when he mm. when when mm. he's involved no other thing can temper with i don't know if you're guys what yes, we are sir. sharing here you know we are just it's just a tip of the iceberg you know so that when mm. you guys come to maryland you will see the source of our knowledge i'm not ashamed mm -hmm. to mention that my doctrinal you know a growth and achievement is from a man called dr abel Do damina he's a spiritual right. father i'm not ashamed to mention Amen. him as my knowledge i'm not ashamed to mention, you know one of the things that people don't know you don't select a spiritual father because he does miracle because mm. uh, he's popular out there you know he's mm. a man that builds doctrine in you and i'm proud of him i say that anyway and i want mm. you to benefit too i want you to benefit before now i was out there you know being tormented by religion and all mm. of that but today mm. you know but one thing don't forget we said in jeremiah chapter number 15 verse 16 that he was available he mm. was available he yes, was sir. available and willing so you have mm. to make yourself available and willing to receive the benefits that will come from the word praise god mm. you have to be available let's read that Let, let's read that first peter first peter from the amplified i wanted to say something we yes, are, sir. I'm still answering that your question, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> we, are, 
We are still answering the strength of the believer, right? Amen. We are still answering that. First Peter. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. First Peter. Oh, Shamanda Labaya. Thank you, Lord. First Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Amplify said, Praise, honor, bless, be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, by his abundant, sorry, by his boundless mercy. Mm. Boundless. I love this. Boundless. Mm. By his boundless mercy. Mm. So that mercy can never, can never diminish. Mm. By mm. his boundless mercy. Glory to God. Amen. By his boundless mercy, we have been born again. Glory mm. to God. We Amen. are born of the mercy of God, meaning we have become the constitution of God's mercy, the container of God's mercy. So we are in his mercy. And the mercy of God is a person. Jesus is the mercy of God's manifest. In a post, we read the book of Titus that when the, Jesus is the kindness and God's mercy manifested to his people, mm. glory to God. Mm. So Amen. we are in Christ. And where are we? In Christ. So where mm. are we? In God's mercy. So why should oh, we be in the oh, mercy yeah. of God and we are in need of God's mercy? Think about each other. Mm. You, uh, mm. Because Jesus mm. is the mercy of God dispensed mm. to his people. Is the yes. manifestation of God's mercy. That's why mm. Peter now in, 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 in his letter he said, guys, look at it. He said, you are born of the mercy of God. You are mm. born. I love mm. that. Let's read that again. First Peter chapter number one, verse three. He said, praise, mm. honor, bless, be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah by his boundless mercy, we have been born again to, and what? To, to, to an ever living hope hallelujah ever living Amen. hope through the resurrection glory to god so we glory, are born glory, of the glory. resurrection of christ mm, mm, so for mm, you to tell mm. me that i can be disconnected from god you are saying that another christ need to come and die and mm. he died once and for all the bible says mm. in the book of hebrews he paid the price once and for all so his mm. resurrection is once and for all so we are mm. born from the womb of death the womb mm. of death get back to us so our secret brother fabric I, I, you know i was lis listening to papa one day and yes sir you know i was just i went back to one of those you know old messages i think soteria season three and i was just listening and i was just sharing with my family we we're just fellowshipping one evening mm. and i said i said if there is anything if there is any secret if mm. at all there is a secret god is keeping from his children mm. which i know there mm. is no other secret because mm. God has naked himself in his word. In Christ, we mm. can see the nakedness of God. We can touch, mm. we can feel how, you know, God is in Christ. I said, if there is mm. any secret that God is hiding from his people, is how to mm. undo salvation. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, if at all there is any secret, if at all, mm. then, you know, people are talking about God is secretive. You know, mm. if, if we just want to agree with that, think about that. Mm. If there is any secret that God is hiding from his people, is mm. how to undo salvation. Mm. Mm. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, that's very it wonderful. It can only come from a loving father. Mm. A mm. father that loves his people. Mm. Mm. That you know what? Mm. I will not show them that. Amen. Which therefore means take all the scientists, take all the scientists, in, mm. in, in the, 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 the most qualified scientists in, in Asia, the most mm. qualified scientists in Africa, in America, in 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 in, in Europe, mm. take them and lock them up in the room for the mm. whole year, you know, mm. till Jesus come. They will not mm. be able to discover the dissolving substance that can separate us from the mm. Father. Because yes, sir. the secret is in the hands of the Father. Mm. The Father. Mm. Think about mm. that. The secret. It's in the hands of the Father. You know, Hebrews Amen. chapter, Hebrews chapter number five, verse nine. When you read the whole man, whole man Christian, you know, version of the Bible. When you read the Amen. whole man version, the HCSB version, you know, Amen. it says he he is the source. Amen. The Father Himself he is the source of our eternal salvation. The Amen. King James call it the author. The author. The author. Amen. The author. Yes, mm. he is the source. So how can Jesus be the source or the author? You were not there. Let's continue with that first Peter. Are you excited? I, I, yes, you know, sir. listening to us. Let's continue yes, with sir. that first Peter. We, you know, 
First Peter chapter number one, verse three. He said, Praise, Ooh. honor, bless be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, by his boundless mercy. We have been Ooh. born again to an what ever living hope through the Ooh. resurrection born of the resurrection of jesus christ he said through the resurrection of jesus mm. christ from the mm. dead verse 4 now you will love this he said born new into mm. an inheritance mm. born new born new, mm. born new. into mm. an inheritance mm. just like just like the, uh, uh, jesus talking to nicodemus mm. you know in in, in, jo in john chapter 3 born the spirit explaining mm. another kind of birth so somebody might oh can i enter into the womb again a second time that's not what we're talking about it's a spiritual birth mm. spiritual birth when mm. you read downward contextually you read downward peter also explained how we came into this union child of god mm. you don't want to miss the program in maryland just mm. think about a son speaking like this how much more with the father how mm. much more hearing from the father's mouth how oh, much yeah. more hearing from you know our mentor and teacher on that day how much more mm. you, you, you mm. don't want to miss out guys you mm. don't want to miss out on this conference praise god mm. now verse 4 yeah. says born anew into an inheritance which is what which is beyond the reach mm. <laughs> which is beyond, beyond i love this version which is yeah. beyond the reach of change mm. and mm. decay is beyond the reach of change and decay so how mm. can we lose salvation? Who can mm. go to the heels of the Lord? Only those who clean hands. The devil cannot mm. go there. Mm. He doesn't have clean mm. hands. Mm. Mm. He said, who is seen and condemned? <laughs> who no can way. go there? Who mm. can go there? Are you getting mm. this? Yes, sir. He said, yes, sir. our inheritance. And this inheritance, mm. this inheritance, mm. when you read, when you read Romans chapter 4, you see our mm. inheritance enumerated ephesians chapter one you see them all there it's not it's not cars oh let's mm. pray anyone fight we are not going to maryland to pray about people fighting your inheritance no mm. Mm. we are there to affirm these things through the mouth of the of the mm. servant of the lord to affirm yes, them yes sir our inheritance mm. they are incorruptible look at it he said oh mm. glory i love this amplifier he said though now for a sorry it's a change and decay in mm. table in mm. veritable on sunlight and on fading reserved mm. where in heaven for you mm. for us jesus mm. is our heaven oh yes oh yeah. <laughs> reserved oh, yeah. in jesus for you and when mm. is jesus is right mm. here mm. it's right mm. there mm. it's right there glory to god Amen. Oh God. It's Amen. right there. It's right mm. there. Mm. The inheritance of the saints in life. Let's move downward now to verse 18 of that same scripture. Verse 18 mm. of that first Peter chapter 1. Verse 18 says, You must know. Are you seeing it that you must yes, know? Sir. It becomes your the amplifier says, You must know it becomes your responsibility. That speaks again of mm. availability and willingness. Yes. So yes, you sir. have to be available to know yeah oh, yeah you yeah. have to be available that speaks of availability so what we are talking about here of inviting you guys to maryland is about making yourself available we are not saying coming to cause mm. the words mm. to work the mm. word has mm. worked already so coming to get what has worked already but now for you to get mm. that you need to make yourself available glory mm. to god hallelujah mm. oh mm. i love the word mm. he said you must know recognize that you were redeemed so you are coming to be informed or reminded that you have mm. been redeemed mm. oh yes you are going yes. to be reminded that you have been redeemed you might be mm. going through you know condemnation because of the religious and stuff like that the child of mm. god don't bother just mm. get your ticket let's meet in maryland oh yes let's oh, meet in maryland i know what i'm talking about amen. i know what i'm talking about i know what i'm talking about amen we are not amen. greedy that's mm. why we are we are giving out this information we are not greedy mm. we want you guys to benefit from this let's look at mm. that again he said you must know recognize that you were redeemed mm. ransomed mm. ransomed mm. from the useless fruitless this guy mm. fruitless <laughs> fruitless glory to god mm. are you here glory. Amen. Home. 
Amen. Fully Where mm. of living mm. inherited mm. by tradition, by yes, tradition from mm. your forefathers, not mm. with corruptible things. Mm. Oh, you have been mm. told mm. in your formal church, you have been told that you need to give money to redeem your firstborn. Just come to Maryland. You don't need money. Come to Maryland. Mm. Redemption come to Maryland. is free. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, just come to Maryland. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. Come to Maryland. It's free. Right. Oh, you have to redeem your firstborn. No, no, no. Jesus. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Jesus paid the price. Yes, sir. Jesus paid the price. In order yes. for you, in order for you to be just before God, you have mm. to you have to put mm. on a certain a certain dress and all of that. Mm. No, come to Maryland. In Maryland, mm. we're gonna tell you that he is the just and the justifier. He oh, is yes. the just and the justifier. Mm. In Maryland, mm. we're gonna mm. tell you mm. in Romans mm. chapter mm. number four, verse 24, 25. When you read down what the Bible is speaking, that what he said, what he said, he was delivered for our offenses. If they are mm. telling you as a Muslim hearing us now, and you are in the United States of Canada, Europe, and you're mm. you you've been tired of religion, let me tell you, you don't need mm. to pay any price. Jesus paid the price. So oh, come yes. to Maryland, we're gonna unveil these things to you. Mm. Come to Maryland, you're gonna hear more of this because it's mm. gonna be about unveiling who you are in christ that is the oh, focus yeah. of the conference is to mm. show you your real you is to show you your real identity yeah, jesus yeah. is not asking for anything his mm. his, his, his arms Ooh. are widely open yeah, that can yeah. i give you an embrace can i receive you oh come mm. to me come to me no you are not coming to give your life you're coming to receive his life then then i have come that you might have yes, life sir. in Ephesians chapter number two, mm. that we were dead That's in our trespasses. Life. We didn't have any life, but the coming of Jesus is the coming of God's life into humanity. Mm. For Jesus to tell us that, hey, I have come yes, that sir. you might have life, meaning until Jesus, nobody had life. That's why the people of old, all mm. they had was a mm. promising note, waiting for the manifestation and the fulfillment of mm. 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 Hey, Go to Maryland. Amen. Come to Maryland. Amen. They're not redeemed by those things. <laughs> not redeemed by those things. Glory to God. Mm. We mm. are not redeemed by those things. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read that verse 18 again. He said, Thank Oh, glory. He said, Not with corruptible things such as silver and gold. Oh, mm. verse 19. Mm. You will love it. But you were put oh, yes. Jesus did not take a credit. Mm. He didn't take a credit card. It's not a credit card. He paid in full. He paid yes, sir. the full price, the total price. <laughs> we are we are free men. Religion mm. will not tell you this. That's why we always mm. say Christianity is not mm. religion. Religion will not tell you. But we are here mm. to tell you if you have been struggling with religion, if you have been trying to score point with mm. God, think about this. Let me ask you this question. How can a perfect God create an imperfect mm. man and demand that the imperfect no man should be perfect so that they can have a perfect Ooh. relationship? No how, no how, no how. Mm. Think mm. about that. Amen. Verse 19. Amen. He said, but you were purchased with the precious blood of Christ, the Messiah, mm. hallelujah, like Amen. that of what? A sacrificial lamb without blemish mm. or spot. Mm. Mm. He was made sin for us mm. so mm. that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ. Glory, 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 he was made glory. sin. Mm. He mm. was made sin for yes. us that we might become the righteousness of yes. God mm. in mm. Christ. Mm. Glory mm. to God. Amen. Amen. It is true. I love this. Brother Fabri loved it. He said, It mm. is true that he was chosen and foreordained, destined, and foreknown for it. So it was mm. not a surprise. The yes. death of Jesus, the sacrifice of Jesus, didn't take mm. God by surprise. It was foreordained. I think mm. Papa, Papa, Papa did a teaching on foreknowledge, predestination, election, and calling. It's powerful. If you listen yes. to that, it will help a lot. Mm. You no, know, you can check on YouTube. You, you know, it's mm. it's very powerful. Foreknowledge. It was based on the foreknowledge of God. Mm. It was not something that took took God by surprise. It was not mm. something. He said, "Destined and foreknown for it 
before the foundation of the world. Of the world. <laughs> before we came, it has been predestinated. Mm. It has been planned, pre-planned. It has been pre-confirmed by God. Mm. So your statue today has nothing to offer. God made his, made up his mind mm. that I'm going to do it for you, not because you were there. Predestinated. Mm. For mm. no before the foundation mm. of the world but he was mm. brought out to public view mm. he was mm. brought out to public view so the manifestation of jesus is not when god made the mm. plan available the plan has mm. been made available before the manifestation of jesus mm. amen 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 glory to god Glory. In these last days, at the end of the time, for the sake of you, glory to God, He mm. died for your sake. Now let's just mm. keep, let's just keep and go. 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 I, I, I love us to read verse twenty-two. Then I read. It says, "Since by your obedience to the truth, true that." Let's use verse twenty-three. It says, "You have been regenerated, not a re, a refurbished. You are not refurbished. A born again man is not a refurbished person. Mm. You have been regenerated." You have been regenerated, born again, not from a mortal origin. Don't forget mm. verse 18. Mm. Yes, sir. Don't, don't forget verse 18 while you're reading this. Have that at the back mm. of your mind. Verse 18, verse 19. Put it at the back of your mind while mm. you're reading this. Yes, from sir. From a mortal origin, mm. seed, sperm, but from one that is what? Immortal. Mm. So if we are born of the immortal, then it will mm. take the immortal to disconnect us and separate us from himself. Mm. And he has mm. cracked that I will never leave you nor forsake you. So not who forsake are you, you to forsake a man? There is oh. no creature, there is no man on earth, no matter your stature, your qualification, your crowd has mm. any right to condemn you. Oh yes, oh yes. God okay. values, God values everybody. Mm, mm, Think about mm, it, sir. He said, hey. while we were yet seen as he died, mm, mm, mm. he died. He valued that unbeliever out there. God values yeah. that man. So who are you to discred uh, discredit somebody? Who are you? Mm, mm. We are we are saved by his grace. Paul is yes, speaking sir. that we are who we are by the grace of God. Mm. By the grace mm. of God. By the grace Child of God. Child of God. By the grace of God, God. God loves mm. everybody. Mm. Let, let us reflect these realities out there. Let mm. us show man that we are mm. the carriers of the Father's uh, uh, words. Let's reflect that. He loves, he values everybody mm. out there. Mm. The mm. madman on the street, the drunk, the prostitute, all of that, mm. the lesbian, mm. the homosexual. Of course, mm. he's not happy with those activities, but his love from them, his love for them is the same. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So that's the strength Amen. of the believer we're talking about here. That's mm. the strength, child of God. Mm. That's mm. the strength. Psalms, Psalms mm. 119, verse 1, verse uh, 105. Psalms 119. He said, your word is a lamb. Psalms mm. 119, verse 1. Mm. Your word is a lamb. The mm. word. So there's mm. strength. Your strength is the word, child of God. Mm. Mm. All you, need, mm. you can't be tired of hearing the word. That's your strength. Mm. Mm. That's why you don't motivate a born again man. The word, oh, yes. a born again yes. man is self motivated by the word. Oh yes, yes. He don't need, he don't need secular motivational speakers and all of that. He's self motivated. Mm. Mm. The word. Mm. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He said, Amen. "Your word is a lamp. Amen. A lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path." Hallelujah. Psalms one zero one. Psalms one zero seven again, verse twenty. He said, "He said, send his word and what his word healeth thee." Mm. Are Amen. you looking for that healing? Amen. You have been healed two thousand years ago. So when you come for the mm. conference, the man mm. of God is only helping you to receive that which uh, mm. you have already in Christ. Mm. You have been healed. Mm. He said, "He sent mm. for his word." And his oh, word yeah. healed me. It is about the word, child of God. Mm. That's why in our mm. ministry we uphold mm. the integrity mm. of the word. He sent forth his word. Mm. That mm. sickness, the word has been mm. sent already, child of God. That situation, the word mm. has been released already. That condition, the word oh, has yeah. been released already. That problem, the oh, word yeah. has been released. Only make yourself oh, available. Yeah. Glory to God. It is mm. not time to mm. play religion. The Bible mm. says, in the day of his power, his people shall be willing. Are you willing? 
If yes, you're willing, then you mm. position yourself. You make mm. yourself available. Glory to God. Yes. Glory, glory, glory. Proverbs 5, glory. verse 1. Proverbs mm. 5, verse 1. Mm. You're running up. Mm. Mm. You're running up. Mm. Mm. Man of God, I don't know if I'm answering your question. <laughs> yes, sir. On point. On point. Proverbs 5, verse 1. He said, mm. My son, be attentive to my wisdom. Mm. He said, Godly wisdom learned by actual and costly experience. Mm. And incline what your ear to my understanding of mm. what is becoming and prudent for you. Mm. The world, my son. Mm. Mm. Now, verse 2 now gave us an understanding. He said, he said that you may mm. exercise proper discrimination and discretion and mm. you, and, and your mm. lips may guard and keep knowledge and the mm. wise answer to mm. temptation mm. when you mm. have the clarity of the word you don't mm. just speak anyhow mm. you don't mm. just respond to people anyhow the amen. word is very key you guide your mouth amen you amen. guide your mouth amen don't you amen he proceeds amen. he said for the lips amen. of the loose amen. woman drip amen. honey amen. as a honeycomb and her mouth is smooth, smarter than oil. Hallelujah. Child, God, God. It's mm. about the word. Proverbs mm. 4, verse 18 and 20. We round up with that tonight. Then if you have any mm. other questions, you know, there are mm. many scriptures, but you know, we are just here to give a link mm. of, you know, and encourage mm. you to be in Maryland with us. Let's mm. fellowship. Let's enjoy Christ together. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's, let's enjoy Christ. It's gonna be mm. one conference you can afford mm. to, to be told. Mm. Amen. Mm. Let's see Proverbs mm. chapter 4, verse 18 to 20. We are talking about the importance of the word, the strength of a born again man. Mm. Proverbs 4. Mm. He said, My son, let me start from verse 18. He said, But the mm. path of what? The path of the uncompromisingly just and righteous is like what? Mm. The light of dawn that mm. shines more and more, brighter and clearer until it, it reaches its full strength and glory mm. in the perfect day to be prepared. Mm. Mm. Amen. You can also Amen. you can also read for that. You can also read Matthew chapter number twenty two verse four. Matthew chapter sorry, you can read Second Samuel chapter twenty three verse four. Matthew chapter five verse fourteen. Philippians two verse fifteen. Let's read Philippians mm. two verse fifteen, sir. Then we proceed. Mm. Second Second Samuel. No, read Philippians Philippians two verse fifteen. Philippians two fifteen. Mm -hmm. Philippians. Philippians 2, 15. Philippians 15. Glory. Philippians 2, verse 15, uh, it reads, That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom, whom ye shine as lights in the world. Hallelujah. When you study Hallelujah. that very well, you see that, mm. you know, that's where Paul took those words from Proverbs chapter number 4, verse 18. Talking about yeah. when you come to the understanding of who you are, your identity, what you carry. Mm. You, mm. you guide your word. You don't just speak because words are cheap. Amen. Mm. Verse 19 mm. now. Let's go back to Proverbs 4, verse 19. It says, it said, the way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do mm. not know over what they stumble. Praise God. Mm. Now verse mm. 20. It said, my son, attend to my word. Mm. God is giving mm. back his word. You know, when you read Luke chapter number in you know, chapter number 24, when you read mm. down, when you read down from verse 20, 25, downward all the way to 47, you see that when Jesus finished talking to the disciples, what happened? That he opened their understanding that they may know him where in the scripture. Mm. In the After scripture. Teaching them, he was there. He sent them back to the scripture. Because God mm. and his written words are one. Mm. So God cannot speak today to contradict his written word when you Absolutely. rightly divide it in Christ. Mm. God mm. and his written words are one. So God mm. cannot speak today to contradict his word. That's why when Jesus finished talking to them, he, he sent them back to the written word because the mm. Bible says the scriptures, mm. you know, the mm. holy men that wrote the scriptures, they were inspired by the Father. Mm. Even though mm. in their mm. communication they had their impressions, but in their impression there is the meaning of what the father wanted them to communicate. Mm. 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 Yes, sir. 
Are you getting me? Amen. Amen. Are you getting me? So it's yes, about sir. the word. Jesus mm. himself studied the word, mm. spent time yeah. studying mm. the word. He was speaking from the place of his understanding the word because the word talks about him. The word talks about him. You know, mm. when you read John chapter mm. number one, verse 45, the Bible says, We have found him. The new living translation him. says, We have found the very person of which of whom Moses and the prophets, the very person, which means mm. the man had the understanding of it. He said, This man that Moses and the prophet were talking about, this is Jesus. That's why, mm. that's mm. why in John chapter 5, then I said, What? Such the scripture. For in yeah. them the thing you want, you have eternal you have life. Eternal they life. are they which mm, testify which of me. Now, mm. that they are they is the Greek word pun, P U N, which means when you take the scriptures collectively, individually, when you're studying mm. the scripture individually and collectively, mm. they're talking about mm. what? One mission. One one mission. They mm. are they. Mm. Praise mm. God. God. So it's very important, child of God. You don't want to miss Maryland. It's going to be, mm. it's going to be mm. powerful. Glory be to God. It's going to be powerful. Amen. Verse 20, Amen. we'll round up with that. It said, my son, mm. attend to my words, consent and submit to my saints. Mm. Verse 21, mm. it said, let them not depart from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart. Now, verse mm. 21, it said, let them not depart from your sight. Keep them in the center of your heart. Verse 22, for they mm. are life to those who find them. Life mm. is in the word. Mm. Mm. Life is in the word mm. they are alive to those that find them glory to god healing Amen. and health to all their flesh mm. healing and health is in the words mm. Mm. so the strength of the believer is the word glory glory, to god. glory. Mm. Mm. amen amen my god at least with these few amen. points of mine amen. i think i've been able to you know, answer. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wow, yes. wow. That's wonderful. That's wonderful, Pastor. Amen. I just want to emphasize, you know, there are very, very strong points that you spoke about, you know, that yes, I sir. just want to emphasize. You know, yes. you said something that is very, very important about positioning yourself. Mm -hmm. This is very, very great because, you know, many people, you know, they have this mentality where they think, well, you know, I don't need the spiritual father. I don't need to be pastored. You know, Jesus is my father. Jesus is my mentor. You know, I can just go on. They think they can just come up. And, you know, most of them, they have this mentality of thinking, you know, Paul has no spiritual father. So, But they don't know that God uses men to bless men. So that point was very, very important to position yourself where you get a man who is sound in the doctrine to teach you. There is no student who comes up and says, well, I knew chemistry by teaching myself. You need someone to lecture you. That's even how the word of God is. Then you spoke something that I never understood. That question has been answered today. You talked oh, something Lord. about the, the mercy of God, abundant mercy, boundless mercy. Let, yeah. There was a story one day, a man of God was teaching us. Then it was like, you know, you don't need the grace of God. You need the mercy of God. Because you, uh, Saul had the grace of God, but he was killed because he had no mercy of God. You know, that <laughs> mindset, it destroyed my mind from then. Yes. But, to the, you know, I even looked in the scriptures, where can I find about the mess? But then <laughs> I found it. You know that it's boundless, abundant. We are swimming in the mercy of God. Amen. We are in the mercy of God. We don't need to cry and say, Lord, I need your mercy. I have grace, but I need the mercy of God. No, the yes. mercy of God is a person. That yes. is very, very, very important. Very I, I important. Want you, I want you to read, before you continue, Titus chapter number 3, verse 4. Mm -hmm. so, Titus. Titus. Yeah. Right. Titus. Titus yes. chapter 3. Yes. Verse, verse number four. Right. Titus chapter three, verse four. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior, toward man appeared. Five. Amen. Not by works. Mm. Should I the go on? Kindness. Mm. The kindness. Mm. The kindness. Mm. The mercy of God. Yes, sir. The kindness of God appeared. So Jesus is God's mm. kindness. Mm. Is the appearance mm. of the goodness oh, oh, of God. Oh, oh. Whoa, glory. 
appeared. Remember, mm. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, great is the mystery of godliness mm. that God has manifest. Amen. Mm. So Jesus mm. is God's mm. kindness. Mm. So mm. a born again, mm. and where is Jesus today? He's in a born again mm. man. So a mm. born again man is the carrier of the kindness of God. That's why Paul mm. kept on saying, and to know the love of God. Mm. Feel more one thing the communication of thy faith become effectual by what the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you were in Christ. You mm. have to position yourself. Positioning mm. is very key mm. in our walk of faith. You position mm. yourself where you meet the right teacher, the right doctor. Mm. Mm. You know, and going back to what you're talking about, a lot of people argue about spiritual parents because they don't understand. Mm. It is mm. doctrinal, it is biblical. You know, Paul mm. calling Timothy my son. It's mm. not because he gave birth naturally. Mm. Jesus mm. had his father mm. here on earth, Joseph, right? He had yes, sir. He even mm. called God his father. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's mm. a structure ordained mm. by the father. Mm. It's a structure ordained. You know, mm. John, let, let's look first Timothy chapter number one, verse 18. Sometimes you give people scripture for them to see. Yes, sir. Yes. He gives people scripture. Timothy. Yes. Uh, chapter, chapter 1 verse 18 all right first timothy chapter 1 verse 18, 18. yes first timothy chapter 1 verse 18 all right first yes. timothy chapter 1 verse 18 i read uh, it reads uh, yes. this charge i commit unto thee son yes. timothy what was that again the, son, he said son. Mm, yes. son mm. yes according to the prophecies which went before on thee that yes. thou by them might test war a good warfare 19 yes, yes. holding faith and the good conscience which some now, the key point the key point mm. we're looking for is the fact that paul called timothy son yes he sir. never gave birth to timothy naturally mm. he's my spiritual son but remember in doctrine not just because uh, miracles and all of that Mm, mm, mm. Even Titus, he called Titus my son. So we need mm. the scriptures. We should. Let's see First Timothy chapter one verse two. He called him my son, and also First Titus Timothy. one for First mm -hmm. Timothy chapter one verse two. All right, verse two. And to Timothy, my own son in the faith, grace, makes peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes. Should I continue? My son, my mm. son in the faith. Mm. Titus chapter 1 verse 4 there are scriptures there mm. Titus son. chapter 1 verse 4 he All right. Titus, Titus chapter 1 verse 4 yes mm -hmm. to Titus mine own son after the common faith after the common faith mm. after the common faith remember in the book of Jude chapter mm. 1 I think verse 3 Jesus told us to contend for the faith Mm. The sound teaching mm. of the gospel of Christ. It's a content for that faith. Mm. Mm. My own after faith, not after because he's giving me big money, blah blah blah, or whatever. No. Mm. They were you know, they were persuaded by the doctrines of Paul. Mm. Mm. And they were open, they were willing to learn. So you choose a father not just because he, he performs miracles and all that. Yes, a sir. man that yes. builds doctrine in you. Mm. We've seen mm. the scripture there. Mm. A man that builds doctrine in you. Mm. Mm. I don't know mm. if I'm making sense. And you yes, know, sir. remember we spoke, when we started, we're supposed to read, read a scripture to show that there is another Jesus. It just came into my mind now because I yes, think sir. somebody might be asking. You know, Second mm. Corinthians chapter eleven, verse four. Let's round up with that. Second Corinthians eleven four. Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse yes, four. It reads, uh, "For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, another who... Jesus means another gospel, a message that mm. will come to you that you have to do something for God to qualify is another gospel, not the Jesus." So that they are yes, calling sir. Jesus in a yes, place sir. and things are happening. You want to find out the message that was preached in that place first it is mm. the message that validates the father's presence and not just the yes, preacher sir. yes sir 
it is the message we look for the content mm. the content that was delivered there so i just said mm. let's bring back that scripture in case somebody might want to ask yes sir i'm good go ahead you were sharing something i think our time is fast ben yes amen yeah time is not on our side but one last one last thing that you said you know until christ is revealed to you your identity will never be known you know it reminds me of one thing that papa said he said peter came and jesus asked peter who do you say i am peter said you are the son of god yes jesus the messiah then jesus says now because of that your name shall be simon they used yes. to call you peter they used to call you a reed but now you are a rock onto which i will build my church so right. after simon knew is jesus his identity was unveiled so there is no way you will know who you are in christ what you have in christ what you can do in christ if your identity has not yet been revealed without knowing christ there is no way whether legalism whether going any place not focusing on scriptures taking them out of context until you come to a place where you know jesus your identity will never be revealed that was very that was a nugget a very big nugget hey, and man, look, I, I, I know the truth about it is mm. uh, what jesus was talking about is not like you change your name from fabric to Brian. Oh, yeah. oh yes that's important you know, it was, that's it was just teaching on because a lot of people would change their name you know and they would mm. go to scripture. it mm. was just teaching on based on the revelation peter had that mm. despite all what people are identifying you with your mm. only identity is what i mm. identify you in it's Christ. what i called you if i called you righteous you're righteous if mm. i called you holy you're holy mm -hmm. if i called you oh you know, yeah sanctified mm. you're sanctified it's mm. not just the change of from fabric to brian it's just mm. telling me that your identity depends on what i say not what people say oh yes oh yes i will need to listen to this again <laughs> Amen. i will i will go Praise back God. and play it again and All listen us, to papa this. is teaching us so we are learning and you know we go back and look into his books look into the word listing Amen. and we try to retain because Ooh. as a good student you have to be able to defend it and the Amen. reason why just like Amen. you said we're coming to talk about this is to encourage Amen. people to know that Amen. if we are learning and Amen. we are getting what he's teaching and it's mm. evident in the Bible. Mm. We, I, I was not talking about a book here. We're mm. showing you guys scripture in, in the Bible for, for us to look into also mm. and learn, you know, mm. and learn. They, all mm. we need is the word. Mm. All we need is the word. Mm. All oh, we yes. need, and the word is available. Oh, yeah. You don't want to miss out mm. the, the Power City International Ministry mm. and the Anwar Conference in Lawrence, Maryland, United States of America, from mm. the 7th, you know, at Double Tree Hotel. Lauren, Maryland, you know, from mm. the 7th of October mm. to mm. the 10th of October. You want to follow mm. the link and register. Mm. If you're in America, in Canada, get mm. you. Get, you can't spend money enough when it has to do with Christ. You can't mm. spend money enough. You know, mm. like what I'll say, when you see Jesus, money loses mm. value. Oh, yes. Money, oh, yes. Loses, money loses oh, yes. value when you see oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. Jesus is all what we keep pursuing. Oh, yes. Inside. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, man of God, I'm so excited, you know. I, I, Sometimes... I'm your brother, sir. I'm your brother. Yeah. I'm the same father. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, just, you know, listening to you and listening to Papa, I'm like, you know, the thing that I just know by following Papa, they are 0.01% of what he teaches. That one pushes me to the place where i really need to sit and study honestly and oh my god we are so blessed to have a father you know who teaches us sound doctrine and you know you have you have spoken enough people have heard enough guys make a way maryland is the place roll a double three make that place ministry will never be convenient you have to burn bridges look there are some yeah. things where you need to sacrifice it will not always you know it's always convenient no you have always to be out of the comfort zone and go and meet with the man whom god has sent to us to teach us this world so make right. go register the link is in the description click the link there make sure you register book a hotel make sure you have everything arranged so that you can fly to maryland and meet with the man of god our highly esteemed man of god the life coach life architect yes. mentor and teacher of the world 
Dr. Bedamina, make sure, make sure, make sure. Yes, sir. And you know, yes, sir. thank you so much for everybody who've been here watching here. And my big, big thanks goes to my pastor, Brian. Thank you so oh, much yeah. for being here with us. You know, everybody listening here, I know they are edified. I know they learned something just like me. I learned tonight. And you yeah. know, we just want to say thank you everybody for coming in and, and look, look, don't just listen and say, well, I'm going to do it. Make the decision right now. To go to Maryland, whether you are in UK, Canada, USA, this is your time. This is your moment. Make a way oh, up yeah. to the USA. Amen. So our rounding up, Pastor. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you thank so you much. Sir. You know, I don't know. I can say thanks so much a thousand times. It thank will you. not be enough. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, man. Thank Amen. you. Oh, I celebrate you and you know, keep doing what you're doing. You know, keep Amen. doing. Keep Amen. doing. You know, that's the very essence of uh, all the social media platform. Keep doing Amen. what you're doing. You're Amen. on track, you know, keep pushing it. Life has been transformed. Amen. Even the words, Amen. you know, it comes gradually. Amen. It. And I love you too. I, I, I thank you for the privilege and opportunity. When we Amen. meet in Maryland, we will do more. I love Amen. you. Good night. Good night. Amen. Good night, sir. Amen. Bye. Bye.